Miley Ray Cyrus is an American singer, songwriter, and actress. Known for her distinctive raspy voice, her music incorporates elements of varied styles and genres, including pop, country pop, hip-hop, experimental, and rock. She has attained the most U.S. Billboard 200 Top 5 albums in the 21st century by a female artist, with a total of 13 entries. Cyrus, a daughter of country music singer Billy Ray Cyrus, emerged as a teen idol while portraying the title character of the Disney Channel television series Hannah Montana. As Hannah Montana, she attained two number one and three top five soundtracks on the U.S. Billboard 200, including the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 Top 10 single He Could Be The One. Cyrus's own discography includes the U.S. number one albums Meet Miley Cyrus, Breakout, and Bangerts, the top five releases Can't Be Tamed, Younger Now, Plastic Hearts, and the free album Miley Cyrus and Her Dead Pets. Cyrus's EPS The Time of Our Lives and She Is Coming also debuted in the top five. Plastic Hearts became Cyrus's most acclaimed record, and her first entry on the Billboard Rock chart debuting atop the chart. It included the lead single Midnight Sky. Her other singles include the U.S. Top 10 charting See You Again, Seven Things, The Climb, Party in the U.S.A., Can't Be Tamed, We Can't Stop, Malibu, Without You, and the chart-topping Wrecking Ball. In 2020, the Recording Industry Association of America awarded Diamond Certification to Party in the U.S.A., recognizing sales of 10 million for the single. Cyrus's career accolades include making the Time 100 list in 2008 and also in 2014, being named MTV's Best Artist of 2013 award, and appearing on Billboard's Greatest of All Time Artists chart in 2019. She is regarded as one of the few examples of successful child actors turned singers. As an actress, Cyrus has made appearances in the animated film Bolt and the feature films Hannah Montana, The Movie and The Last Song. On television Cyrus served as a coach on the singing competition series The Voice for two seasons, and starred in the episode Rachel, Jack and Ashley 2 from the Netflix series Black Mirror. She founded the non-profit Happy Hippie Foundation in late 2014 focusing on youth homelessness and the LGBT community. Life and Career 1992-2005, Early Life and Career Beginnings Destiny Hope Cyrus was born November 23, 1992, in Franklin, Tennessee, to Letitia Tish Jean Cyrus and country singer Billy Ray Cyrus. She was born with supraventricular tachycardia, a condition causing an abnormal resting heart rate. Her birth name, Destiny Hope, expressed her parents' belief that she would accomplish great things. Her parents nicknamed her Smiley, which they later shortened to Miley, because she often smiled as an infant. In 2008, she legally changed her name to Miley Ray Cyrus, her middle name honors her grandfather. Democratic politician Ronald Ray Cyrus who was from Kentucky. Cyrus's godmother is singer-songwriter Dolly Parton. Against the advice of her father's record company, Cyrus's parents secretly married on December 28, 1993, a year after her birth. They had two more children, son Brazon and daughter Noah. From previous relationships her mother has two other children, Brandy and Trace. Her father's first child, Christopher Cody, was born in April 1992 and grew up with his mother, Kristen Lucky, in South Carolina. All of Cyrus's maternal siblings are established entertainers. Trace is a vocalist and guitarist for the electronic pop band Metro Station. Noah is an actress and along with Brazon, models, sings, and is a songwriter. Brandy was formerly a musician for the indie rock band Frank and Dural and is a professional DJ. 
The Cyrus Farmhouse is located on 500 acres of land outside Nashville. Cyrus attended Heritage Elementary School in Williamson County while she and her family lived in Thompson Station, Tennessee. When she was cast in Hannah, Montana, the family moved to Los Angeles and she attended options for youth charter schools studying with a private tutor on set. Raised as a Christian she was baptized in a Southern Baptist church before moving to Hollywood in 2005. She attended church regularly while growing up and wore a purity ring. In 2001, when Cyrus was eight, she and her family moved to Toronto, Canada, while her father filmed the television series Doc. After Billy Ray Cyrus took her to see a 2001 Mervish production of Mamma Mia. At the Royal Alexandra Theatre, Miley Cyrus grabbed his arm and told him, This is what I want to do, Daddy. I want to be an actress. She began to take singing and acting lessons at the Armstrong Acting Studio in Toronto. Cyrus's first acting role was as Kylie in her father's television series Doc. In 2003, she received credit under her birth name for her role as young Ruthie in Tim Burton's Big Fish. During this period she auditioned with Taylor Lautner for the feature film The Adventures of Sharkboy and Lava Girl in 3D. Although she was one of two finalists for the role, she chose to appear in Hannah Montana instead. Her mother took on the role of Miley's manager and worked to acquire a team to build her daughter's career. Cyrus signed with Mitchell Gossett, director of the youth division at Cunningham Eskett's Levin Doherty. Gossett is often credited with discovering Cyrus and played a key role in her auditioning for Hannah Montana. She later signed with Jason Mori of Mori Management Group to handle her music career, Dolly Parton steered her to him. She hired her father's finance manager as part of her team. 2006-2009, I Hannah Montana slash I and early musical releases. None. 2010-2012, I Can't Be Tamed slash I and Focus on Acting. None. 2013-2015, I Bangerts slash I and I Miley Cyrus and Her Dead Pets slash I. None. 2016-2017, I The Voice slash I and I Younger Now slash I. None. 2018-2019, I Black Mirror slash I. I She Is Coming Slash I and Festival Tour. None. 2020 Present, I Plastic Hearts Slash I and I Attention Tour Slash I. None. Artistry. Musical Style and Influence. Miley Cyrus's music has spanned many different genres including pop rock, country pop, teen pop, country, hip hop, and psychedelic. Cyrus has cited Elvis Presley as her biggest inspiration. She has also cited artists such as Madonna, Lana Del Rey, Dolly Parton, Timbaland, Whitney Houston, Christina Aguilera, Joan Jett, Lil' Kim, Shania Twain, Hanson, One Republic, and Britney Spears as influences. Since the beginning of her music career, Cyrus has been described as being predominantly a pop artist. Her Hannah Montana too. Meet Miley Cyrus' debut studio effort was characterized as sounding similar to her releases as Hannah Montana featuring a pop rock and bubblegum pop sound. Cyrus hoped that the release of Breakout would help distance her from this sound, the record featured Cyrus experimenting with various genres. Cyrus Co wrote eight songs for the album and was quoted as saying, I just hope this record showcases that, more than anything, I'm a writer. The songs on her early releases feature lyrics on the topics of love and relationships. Cyrus possesses a mezzo soprano vocal range, although her vocals were once described as alto with a Nashville twang in both her spoken and singing voice. Her voice has a distinctive raspy sound to it, similar in vein to that of Pink and Amy Winehouse. On Party in the U.S.A, her vocals feature belter refrains while those on the song Obsessed are described as husky. Releases such as The Climb and These Four Walls feature elements of country music and showcase Cyrus's twangy vocals. Cyrus experimented with an electropop sound on Fly on the Wall, 
a genre that she would explore further with the release of Can't Be Tamed, her third studio album. It was initially intended to feature rock elements prior to its completion, and Cyrus claimed after its release that it could be her final pop album. The album's songs speak of Cyrus's desire to achieve freedom in both her personal and professional life. She began working on Bangerts during a musical hiatus, and described the record as having a dirty South feel prior to its release. Critics noted the use of hip-hop and synth-pop on the album. The album's songs are placed in chronological order telling the story of her failed relationship with Liam Hemsworth. Cyrus described Miley Cyrus and her dead pets as a little psychedelic, but still in that pop world. For her rock-influenced album, Plastic Hearts, Cyrus cited Britney Spears and Metallica as major influences. Stage Performances Cyrus has become known for her controversial performances, most notably on her Bangerts tour and Milky Milky Milk tour. Her performance of Party in the USA at the 2019 Choice Awards sparked a national uproar because of her outfit and perceived pole dancing. She faced similar controversy over her performance of Can't Be Tamed on Britain's Got Talent, where the singer pretended to kiss one of her female backup dancers on stage, she defended the performance, arguing that she did nothing wrong. Cyrus became the subject of media and public scrutiny following her performance of We Can't Stop and Blurred Lines with Robin Thicke at the 2013 MTV Video Music Awards. Clad in a flesh-colored latex two-piece, she touched Thicke's crotch area with a giant foam finger and twerked against his crotch. The performance resulted in a media frenzy, one reviewer likened the performance to a bad acid trip while another described it as a train wreck in the classic sense of the word as the audience reaction seemed to be a mix of confusion, dismay, and horror in a cocktail of embarrassment. Cyrus entered the stage of her Bangerts tour by sliding down a slide in the shape of a tongue, and draw media attention during the tour for her outfits and racy performances. Public Image In the early years of her career, Cyrus had a generally wholesome image as a teen idol. Her fame increased dramatically in the wake of the Vanity Fair photo scandal in 2008, and it was reported that photographs of Cyrus could be shopped for $2,000 apiece. In subsequent years, her image continued to shift dramatically from her teen idol status. In 2008, Donny Osmond wrote of Cyrus's imminent transition to adulthood, Miley will have to face adulthood. As she does, she'll want to change her image, and that change will be met with adversity. The release of her 2010 album Can't Be Tamed saw Cyrus officially attempting to distance herself from her teenage persona by releasing controversial music videos for her songs Can't Be Tamed and Who Owns My Heart. Her behavior throughout 2013 and 2014 sparked a substantial amount of controversy, although her godmother Dolly Parton said, the girl can write. The girl can sing. The girl is smart. And she doesn't have to be so drastic. But I will respect her choices. I did it my way, so why can't she do it her way? Cyrus is number 17 on Forbes' list of the most powerful celebrities in 2014. The magazine notes that the last time she made our list was when she was still rolling in Hannah Montana money. Now the pop singer is all grown up and courting controversy at every turn. In August 2014, her life was documented in a comic book titled Fame, Miley Cyrus, it begins with her controversial 2013 MTV Video Music Awards performance and covers her Disney fame as well as exploring her childhood in Tennessee. The comic book was written by Michael L. Frizzle, drawn by Juan Luis Rincon, and is available in both print and digital formats. In September 2010, Cyrus placed 10th on Billboard's first ever list of music's hottest minors of 2010, she was ranked 21st in 2011 and 18th in 2012. In 2013, Maxim listed Cyrus as number one on their annual Hot 100 list. 
Cyrus was chosen by Time magazine as one of the finalists for Person of the Year in November 2013, she came in third place with 16.3% of the staff vote. In March 2014, Skidmore College in New York began to offer a special topics sociology course entitled The Sociology of Miley Cyrus, Race, Class, Gender, and Media which was using Miley as a lens through which to explore sociological thinking about identity, entertainment, media and fame. In 2015, Cyrus was listed as one of the nine runners-up for the Advocates Person of the Year. Personal Life Cyrus currently resides in Hidden Hills, California, and also owns a $5.8 million home in her hometown of Franklin. While Cyrus was raised as a Christian and identified herself as such during her childhood and early adult life, she includes references to Tibetan Buddhism in the lyrics to her song Milky Milky Milk and is also influenced by Hindu beliefs. Sexuality and Gender Cyrus came out as pansexual to her mother at age 14 and has said, I never want to label myself. I am ready to love anyone that loves me for who I am. I am open. In June 2015, Time magazine reported she is gender fluid. She was quoted as stating she doesn't relate to being boy or girl, and I don't have to have my partner relate to boy or girl. Cyrus stated she is literally open to every single thing that is consenting and doesn't involve an animal and everyone is of age. Cyrus is a supporter of the LGBT community. Her song My Heart Beats for Love was written for one of Cyrus's gay friends, while she has since claimed London to be her favorite place to perform due to its extensive gay scene. Cyrus also has an equal sign tattooed on her ring finger in support of same-sex marriage. After her 2018 marriage to a man, Cyrus went on the record to state she still identified as queer. She is the founder of the Happy Hippie Foundation, which works to fight injustice facing homeless youth, LGBTQ youth, and other vulnerable populations. Veganism Cyrus was a vegan and had stopped eating animal products since 2014. In September 2020, Cyrus revealed on the Joe Rogan experience that she had to switch to a pescatarian diet after suffering from omega-3 deficiency, saying I've been a vegan for a very long time and I had to introduce fish and omegas into my life because my brain wasn't functioning properly. Cyrus further revealed that she cried when eating her first fish after her vegan diet, saying I cried for the fish, it really hurts me to eat fish. Her decision to quit being vegan sparked backlash from the vegan and vegetarian community and physicians who accused Cyrus of abandoning her vegan diet and spreading misinformation about omega-3 in plant-based diet, which can be found in various plant-based sources and dietary supplements. Cannabis Use Cyrus has been open about her recreational use of cannabis. She told Rolling Stone in 2013 that it was the best drug on earth and called it, along with MDMA, a happy drug. While accepting the Best Video Award at the 2013 MTV Europe Music Awards, Cyrus smoked what appeared to be a joint on stage, this was removed from the delayed broadcast of the show in the United States. In a 2014 interview with W Magazine, Cyrus stated I love weed and I just love getting stoned. In a 2017 interview on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, Cyrus revealed that she had quit cannabis before the press tour for her Younger Now album so she could be super clear when discussing the record. During a 2018 interview with Andy Cohen, she credited her mother for reintroducing her to cannabis. In 2019, Cyrus sent Nothing Breaks Like a Heart collaborator Mark Ronson a cannabis bouquet from Lowell Herb Co. as a tongue-in-cheek Valentine's Day gift. She invested in the cannabis company in August. Prior to undergoing vocal cord surgery in November 2019, and after her post-operative recovery, Cyrus has stated that she has stayed sober from the use of cannabis and alcohol. Relationships 
Cyrus has said that she dated singer-actor Nick Jonas from June 2006 to December 2007, claiming they were in love and began dating soon after they first met. Their relationship attracted considerable media attention. Cyrus was in a nine-month relationship with model Justin Gaston from 2008 to 2009. While filming the last song, Cyrus began an on-again, off-again relationship with her CO star Liam Hemsworth in 2009. During the breakups, Cyrus was romantically linked to actors Lucas Till and Josh Bowman. Cyrus and Hemsworth were first engaged from May 2012 until September 2013. She has also dated actor Patrick Schwarzenegger and model Stella Maxwell. Cyrus and Hemsworth rekindled their relationship in March 2016, and became re engaged that October. In November 2018, Cyrus and Hemsworth's home burned down in the Woolsey Fire in California. On December 23, Cyrus and Hemsworth married in a private wedding ceremony in their home in Nashville. She felt that her marriage what it looks like for someone that's a queer person like to be in a hetero relationship though she was still very sexually attracted to women. Cyrus indicated that the ceremony was kind of out of character for because worn rings forever definitely didn't need it in any way. She believed the loss of their home to be the catalyst for getting married, citing that the timing felt right and that no one is promised the next day, or the next, so to be in the now as much as possible. On August 10, 2019, Cyrus announced their separation. Eleven days later, Hemsworth filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. Their divorce was finalized on January 28, 2020. Following the announcement of her separation from Hemsworth, she dated Caitlin Carter from August to September 2019. In October 2019, Cyrus began dating Australian singer Cody Simpson, a longtime friend. In August 2020, Cyrus announced that she and Simpson had split up. Her announcement coincided with the release of her single Midnight Sky, which was inspired by her breakups with Hemsworth, Carter, and Simpson. Philanthropy Throughout her career Cyrus has sung on several charity singles such as, Just Stand Up, Send It On, Everybody Hurts and We Are the World 25 for Haiti. She has visited sick fans in hospitals throughout the years. She is an avid supporter of the City of Hope National Medical Center in California, having attended benefit concerts in 2008, 2009 and 2012. In 2008 and 2009, during her Best of Both Worlds and Wonder World tours, for every concert ticket sold, she donated $1 to the organization. Cyrus celebrated her 16th birthday at Disneyland by delivering a $1 million donation from Disney to Youth Service America. In July 2009, Cyrus performed at the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation's 20th Annual A Time for Heroes Celebrity Picnic and donated several items including autographed merchandise, and a script from Hannah Montana for the Ronald McDonald House Auction. Cyrus has supported charities such as the Elton John AIDS Foundation, Entertainment Industry Foundation, Habitat for Humanity, United Service Organizations, Youth Service America and Music for Relief. In January 2010, Cyrus posted the final video to her Miley Mandy YouTube account. In the video, Cyrus promoted support for To Write Love on Her Arms. The next day, Cyrus appeared in a promotional video for To Write Love on Her Arms with Joaquin Phoenix, and Liv Tyler. In February 2010, she donated several items, including the dress she wore to the 52nd Annual Grammy Awards, and two tickets to the Hollywood premiere of her film The Last Song, to raise money for the victims of the 2010 Haiti earthquake. In April 2010, Cyrus working with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, performed for and met with 29 children at the Grove at Farmer's Market Indiana Los Angeles, California. 
Cyrus has continued her support for the Make-A-Wish Foundation and has met with at least 150 children. In January 2011, Cyrus met an ailing fan with Spina Bifida with the Charity Kids Wish Network. In April 2011, she appeared in a commercial for the American Red Cross asking people to pledge $10 to help those affected by the 2011 Noku earthquake and tsunami. That same year, Hilary Duff presented Cyrus with the first ever Global Action Youth Leadership Award at the first annual Global Action Awards Gala for her support of Blessings in a Backpack, an organization that works to feed hungry children in schools and her personal Get Her Good On campaign with the Youth Services of America. Cyrus stated, I want to do something they love. Not something that seems like a chore because someone tells them that's the right thing to do or what their parents want or what's important to people around them, but what's in their heart. In December 2011, she appeared in a commercial for the charity J P. Hadian Relief Organization, and teamed up with her elder brother Trace Cyrus to design a limited edition t-shirt and hoodie for charity. All proceeds from the sale of these items went to her charity, Get Her Good On, which supports education for underprivileged children. That month, she performed The Climb at the CNN Heroes, an all-star tribute at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles. In 2012, Cyrus released a cover version of Bob Dylan's You're Gonna Make Me Lonesome When You Go featuring Jonzo West for the charity Amnesty International as a part of the album Chimes of Freedom. She also appeared in a commercial for the Rock the Vote campaign, which encouraged young people to make their voices heard by voting in the 2012 federal election. For her 20th birthday, Activists at People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals adopted a pig called Nora in her name. Cyrus also supports 39 well-known charities, including, Make-A-Wish Foundation, Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, To Write Love on Her Arms, NOH8 Campaign, Love is Louder Than the Pressure to Be Perfect and the Jed Foundation among others. In 2013, Cyrus was named the 14th Most Charitable Celebrity of the Year by Do Something. She also appeared with Justin Bieber and Pitbull in a television special entitled The Real Change Project, Artists for Education. On July 26, 2014, it was announced that Cyrus would appear alongside Justin Timberlake at an HIV-AIDS charity event in the White House. At the 2014 MTV Video Music Awards, Cyrus won Video of the Year for her song Wrecking Ball. Instead of accepting the award herself, she invited a 22-year-old homeless man by the name of Jesse to collect it on her behalf, she had met him at My Friend's Place, an organization that helps homeless youth find shelter, work, health care, and education. His acceptance speech urged musicians to learn more about youth homelessness in Los Angeles through Cyrus's Facebook page. Cyrus then launched a Prizio campaign to raise funds for the charity, those who made donations were entered into a sweepstake for a chance to meet Cyrus on her Bangerts tour in Rio de Janeiro that September. In early 2015, Cyrus teamed up with cosmetic company MAC Cosmetics to launch her own branded Viva Glam lipstick and the proceeds went to the MAC AIDS Fund. In June 2017, Cyrus performed at One Love Manchester a televised benefit concert organized by Ariana Grande following the Manchester Arena bombing on her concert two weeks earlier. During an appearance on the Ellen DeGeneres show in August 2017, Cyrus revealed that she would be donating $500,000 to Hurricane Harvey relief efforts. In August 2019, she performed at the Sunny Hill Festival in Kosovo a festival to raise funds to help people with financial difficulties in Kosovo created by Dua Lipa and her father. In September 2019, Cyrus met with another fan through the Make-A-Wish Foundation at the 2019 iHeartRadio Music Festival in Las Vegas, Nevada. Cyrus and her then-boyfriend Cody Simpson donated 120 tacos to healthcare workers amid the COVID-19 pandemic in April 2020.
That same month, she partnered again with MAC Cosmetics to earmark $10 million from their annual Viva Glam campaign toward 250 local organizations nationwide heavily impacted by the pandemic. Cyrus has shown support for the Black Lives Matter movement by sharing links and resources on social media, donning a Black Lives Matter face mask, and attending protests following the murder of George Floyd. Happy Hippie Foundation Cyrus is the founder of the Happy Hippie Foundation, which works to fight injustice facing homeless youth, LGBTQ youth, and other vulnerable populations. Since 2014, the foundation has served nearly 1,500 homeless youth in Los Angeles, reached more than 25,000 LGBTQ youth and their families with resources about gender, and provided social services to transgender individuals youth in conflict zones, and people affected by crises. Happy Hippie encourages Cyrus's fans to support causes including gender equality, LGBTQ rights, and mental health through awareness campaigns and fundraising. Leading up to the 2020 presidential election, Happy Hippie encouraged its INST Agram followers to seek out vote writers for assistance ensuring that gender identity would not affect their right to vote. On June 15, 2015, Cyrus launched the campaign number Instapride in collaboration with INST Agram. The campaign features a series of portraits starring transgender and gender expansive people, which were posted to her INST Agram feed with the hashtags number Happy Hippie Presents and number Instapride. It was aimed at encouraging diversity and tolerance by showing these people in a positive light as examples for others who might be struggling to figure themselves out, as well as a reference point for people who didn't know personally anyone in that situation. Cyrus was the one behind the camera for the photo shoot the whole time and even interviewed her 14 subjects to share their personal stories along with their portraits. She decided to predominate the color yellow since she believes it is a happy and non-sexualized color. She said she wanted to bring attention and celebrate people who wouldn't normally find themselves being the stars of a photo shoot or wouldn't find themselves on the cover of a magazine. Following the loss of their Malibu home from the Woolsey Fire, Cyrus and Hemsworth partnered with their community to launch the Malibu Foundation for relief efforts following the 2018 California wildfires. Through the Happy Hippie Foundation, Cyrus and Hemsworth donated $500,000 to the Malibu Foundation. Legacy Cyrus's early success as the face of Disney Channel's billion-dollar franchise Hannah Montana played an important role as shaping the 2000s teen pop culture earning her the honorific nickname of Teen Queen. Bickford stated Hannah Montana adopted a business model of combining celebrity acts with film, television, and popular music for a pre-adolescent audience. He called the series genre-defining and likened this model to 1990s teen pop artists such as Britney Spears and NSYNC, who were also marketed to children. Morgan Genevieve Blue of Feminist Media Studies stated the series' primary female characters, Miley, and her alter ego Hannah are positioned as post-feminist subjects in a way their representation is confined to notions of femininity and consumerism. The Times journalist Craig McLean named Cyrus the world's biggest ever teenage star. During the Best of Both Worlds tour, tickets were sold out in minutes and stadiums were completely filled making it the highest-grossing concert tour for a new act in 2007 and 2008. According to Billboard Box's core, the Best of Both Worlds tour had a total attendance of approximately 1 million people and grossed over 54 million US dollars, earning Cyrus the award for Breakthrough Act at the 2008 Billboard Touring Awards. In 2012, Rolling Stone ranked Cyrus as one of the top 25 teen idol breakout moments of the rock era, which Andy Green wrote, Miley's rise was meteoric. Tickets to her 2007 Best of Both Worlds tour sold out faster than any tour in memory. It seemed like she was poised to become a more stable version of Britney Spears especially after singles The Climb and Party in the USA. Due to her popularity, 
Paul McCartney compared their success to that of the Beatles in an interview during his tour in 2011. In this regard, he commented, I think when they have new sensations, like Miley Cyrus or Justin Bieber, teenagers identify with them, in the same way that the boys identified with the Beatles, when you have thousands of teenagers feeling the same, they become elated because they have this love for something in common, whether it is the Beatles, Miley Cyrus, Justin Bieber, or whatever. Over the years, Cyrus's song Party in the USA gained popularity in American culture on holidays and historic events. The song has re-entered the charts every Independence Day since its release. Following the death of Osama bin Laden on May 2, 2011, a resurgence in popularity of the music video occurred. The official YouTube video was flooded with comments regarding the death of Bin Laden and it was immediately deemed a celebratory anthem for the event. In 2013, an online petition on the White House's We the People Petitions website was urging then-President Barack Obama to change the U.S. national anthem from the Star-Spangled Banner to Party in the USA. Following the 2020 presidential election, as major news outlets announced Democratic nominee Joe Biden the winner of the presidential race, on November 7, 2020, supporters in New York City started singing Party in the USA at Times Square. Cyrus's album Bangerts, along with its promotional events, is considered to be one of the most controversial moments in the 2010s wider popular culture and established Cyrus among the decade's most controversial figures. Glamour writer Mickey Woods likened the promotional era for the album to those of Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera's third and fourth studio albums Britney and Stripped, respectively, adding that Cyrus's record will probably be retrospectively deemed iconic, maybe even classic. Billboard listed Bangerts as one of the best and most influential albums of the 2010s noting that with this pivotal album release, Cyrus took control of her public persona surprising less with her provocative antics than with her constant artistic evolution. The album is considered a trendsetter in weaving together urban and pop influences, what's most revered now is what it represented then according to Lindsay Havens. Patrick Ryan of USA Today commented that Cyrus's collaborations with Mike Will Made It on the album contributed to his newfound prominence stating that Mike Will made its position as an executive producer has helped him to the forefront as an interesting character in an era where a lot of producers have fallen behind the scenes again. Vice described Cyrus as the most punk rock musician out there right now and that she is spinning circles around every single pop star who is trying to be edgy right now. MTV named Cyrus their best artist of 2013 and James Montgomery of MTV News elaborated on the network's decision that Cyrus her independence and the pop culture landscape, adding that she schooled and shocked us all in 2013, and did so on her own terms. Billboard staff called Cyrus the most talked about pop star of 2013, and also recognized the controversial evolution of her career as the top music moment of the year elaborating that she was a maelstrom that expanded and grazed nearly every aspect of pop culture in 2013, the publication also listed We Can't Stop as Best Song of 2013 for being one of the bolder musical choices in recent memory, and that Risk paid off tremendously and one of the songs that defined the decade stating. It created a new play in the playbook of pop music. In 2014, Page Six placed Cyrus second place among the 21 most powerful celebrities under 25, with $150 million thanks to her work on Hannah Montana, merchandising, touring and music sales. In 2015, Rebecca Nicholson from The Guardian published an article calling Cyrus the Madonna of her generation, saying that she's a Disney survivor with a fluid approach to gender identity. And, like the old three-chord punks, she gives really good quote. According to Nicholson, Cyrus takes the 90s Madonna approach to public sexuality, it's deliberately provocative, and crucially, it is not being served up for male consumption. Likewise, she defends Cyrus's controversial rebellion, 
highlighting that behind the character there is a human, talented, and strong person who manages to connect with the public, just like the Queen of Pop. In November of the same year, Billboard catalogued the singer as one of the greatest of all time Billboard 200 artists, occupying position 31. In 2017, the aforementioned magazine also published an article naming the singer a queer superhero for her philanthropic fight for the LGBTQ and community. Discography Meet Miley Cyrus Breakout Can't Be Tamed Bangerts Miley Cyrus and Her Dead Pets Younger Now Plastic Hearts Filmography Big Fish Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus, Best of Both Worlds Concert Volt Hannah Montana, The Movie The Last Song LOL So Undercover Miley, The Movement The Night Before a Very Murray Christmas Crisis in Six Scenes Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 Stand By You Tours Headlining Best of Both Worlds Tour Wonder World Tour Gypsy Heart Tour Bangerts Tour Milky Milky Milk Tour Attention Tour Opening Act The Cheetah Girls The Party's Just Begun Tour See also Honorific nicknames in popular music List of awards and nominations received by Miley Cyrus List of Billboard Social 50 No. 1 Artists List of most followed INSTagram accounts Notes